Hey, everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Hearts. In the last episode, we did the sewer area and stuff, and we got the Russian spy chick in our party. And um, she promised us a landing strip, so I better get a look at this landing strip, if you know what I'm saying. But before we head up the ladder, let me mention one thing. I know that for some reason, when I record this game, it's super dark. I've had the same issue with Silent Hill 3. I didn't realize when I was posting on YouTube how dark it actually was. So I apologize that the first four episodes are really dark. But hopefully, I have corrected that issue in post-editing, and this episode is not as dark. You can let me know. Move ahead? Indeed. Go above ground. I guess that means we ain't coming back here. Anyway, let's continue on, shall we? We were just trying to escape the city, and, uh, ooh, look. There's the airstrip I was promised. Sick. Hey, Tiny, come back. Is that what you named the dog? Hmm. Ah, oh, the mutt ran away, huh? Forget about him, Alice. He's just happy to be outside. But... Okay, fine. Get the damn dog. Uh, I should tell you my plans for the Russian spy chick, too, but we'll get to that in a second. When she starts babbling her... Babbling babbles. Babble babbles. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Bow wow wow yippee yo yippee yay! Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Stray dog. You lost, boy? Hmm? Uh. Uh-oh. Japanese troops. Oh, my God. So, turns out this chick's supposed to be French. Makes sense based on her name. I called her a Russian spy just because she was a spy, and Russian spy is a cliche motherfucking thing to do. So, what I will probably do is just give her a more seductive voice. The Russian accent, we're throwing it out. I can't do it. And especially right now because my tongue hurts. I'll tell you, I have like a sore on the left side of my tongue. It actually really hurts when I'm just talking to you normally. So if I get to points where I don't talk a whole lot, which might or may not happen on an RPG, I have to talk a lot because it doesn't have a lot of voice acting. But anyway, uh-oh, Japanese troops down here. It's them, the water terrorists from Fangshan. Sound the alarm, prepare for battle, inform Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima immediately. Ah oh, shit, ah oh, shit. Damn dog. He's fucking shit up, dog. Oh, we're just gonna fight, or what? Looks like we've got no choice but to fight. Ugh. Ha, <laughs> this should be fun. Maybe I shouldn't be so seductive when we're about to throw down. But hey, you know what? I ain't scared. Br okay, there was four of them, and now there's only two. I ain't scared of your asses, then. Get some, baby. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 you. I'm gonna go ahead and throw nothing because I don't have enough MP. Sweet. We're just gonna shoot this fool. Damn it. My timing sucks, but it's alright. That dog, that dog. That soldier is a one hit quit. You can't knock back shit, son. Alright, let's cure. Let's cure it up. Cure it. Cure it, please. Now, I haven't played since I got this comment. But somebody suggested that it's possible that enemies that are undead may be weak to white magic. And you know what? That's not a bad fucking point. I was like, dude, what kind of fucking RPG -er am I when the only magic I have is white magic that I wouldn't have tried pure magic on an undead enemy? Now, these guys are not undead. These are fucking soldiers. They, I'm not even going to bother trying to use magic on them. Like, that'd be the white magic on them, I should say. That would make no sense. But if we hit another undead enemy, I probably won't mind trying it out. So I'll just keep that in mind. And until then, move on with our lives. Bring it on, soldiers. Only took out two. Damn, they're tough. Keep your guard up. Throw down, bitch. Throw down, bitch. This reminds me of the groups of Shin Shinra soldiers you have to fight in the beginning of Final Fantasy VII before you can jump on the train. Very similar feel to this. Huh, huh, huh. Beat him, beat him down, beat him, beat him down, get him on my house, beat him, beat him down, kick him right now. That's right, bitch. That's right, bitch. We want to play. I always miss the third one. I always forget it's so fast. It happens so fast. Cure up my Yuri. Cure up my Yuri. He needs the HP. Cure up my Yuri. Yay. 
Oh no, not six damage. Whatever will I do? Oh no. Damn son, get me down. Eating my beat. Eating my beat down. Eating my beat. Eat my beat. Beat down. Fuck, I missed the last hit. Doesn't really matter. Cause you're fucking dead, son. When I shoot you right now. <sighs> that girl with her sassy ass stance and them clothes, though. Them clothes. That dress, yo. That dresses. Them legs. That coat. That style. Mm -hmm. Over so soon? <laughs> Hardly worth their salaries. What do we do now? Reinforcements are gonna be here any minute. We fly. Right. No time to waste. Let's grab that plane of ours. Alright. Oh, what? <laughs> now that's a movie cliche for you. One step. Boom! In your face. Well then. Guess there's no plane. Hey, Alice, you okay? Y yes, I'm, I'm alright. Another kaboom? What the hell's going on? Uh-oh. It's probably what's-his-face. It's probably Bacon Man. The plane it blew up. Uh. Eek! Let me guess. It's Bacon Man, isn't it? Oh, wait, what? Oh, the dog is a demon! I called that from a mile away! Why, there's nothing to fear, girl. I'm just your cute little dog, Tiny. No, you're not. You're not him at all. The dog is talking. You're the one that blew up the plane, aren't you? And just as we were about to make our escape. As if I'm going to go chasing you halfway across the continent. I think not. You're coming with me. The heathen girl, that is. Is it Bacon? Who are you? This evil aura. So you're the one that's been watching us ever since the sewers. <laughs> that's correct. Uh, I get it. You're bacon. What did you get reincarnated as a dog after I killed you on that train? <laughs> this is too much. How unbelievably lame. <laughs> no, foolish boy. How dare you mention me in the same breath as that charlatan. Oh, that's not him. Oh, then who's this? You want to know who I am? Not that you zeros are even worthy of hearing my name. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, let's see. It's Is it tiny after all? What? That does it, you wench! I can't follow. I can't follow all this. Look, buddy. I don't know who you are, but we don't have time to chew the fat. Yeah, I will not stand for this. You will. Re you shall repent. Taste my wrath. The wrath of Dehuai. Wait, Dehuai. We met somebody named Dehuai, didn't we? Wait, is that the emperor's name? I don't know. But it's a fucking demon dog now. Oh, a giant ass demon dog. All right. Bring it, demon dog. Um, probably gonna go with the raging tiger, hidden dragon. Sounds like a plan. Raging tiger! Yuck! Yeah. All right, let's smack a bitch down. Don't have the MP for this, so smack a bitch down. Add a baby, smack a bitch. Whap, 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 whap. All right, you. What's Aqua to do? Physical attack, whatever. No. Probably just gonna have Alice heal some MP. Maybe. Possibly. Probably. Breath of Fire! That's my favorite game! My favorite game, but I do love me some Breath of Fire, not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was actually a pretty good chunk of damage. Um, I would like to heal MP, though, on my girl. On my girl, Margarine! Thank you! And then Mr. Yuri over here can go ahead and smack a bitch down. Smack a dog down. It's dog on cat action dog. Alright, let's try a Granada on this bitch. Granada. Almost forgot you gotta hit the first one hella quick. Got him. Calling yeah, in that. Calling here. him the, uh, the busty babe assault with the grenade. Booyah, bitch. Nice. Fitty. I like the fitty. I like hundreds of fitties. I like bigger titties. Alright. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and... What do I want to do? Um... What do I want to do? I think I'll just go ahead and cure... 
her. So she needs like a decent amount of HP back to heal all the way anyways. Might as well just keep everybody on a reasonable level. That way, because I don't really have a heal all spell yet. Which I assume there will be one at some point. Although maybe a big assumption to make at this point. But who knows? Until then we smack a bitch down. Throw grenades now. Ooh, going for that red though. Going for that red though. I just don't want to F it up and not get yeah, damaged. Yeah, I need some help here. I need some help here. I'm gonna blow them up. Okay, okay. Booyah, booyah. Uh, fitty foe to the face. Not the breath of fire. Down, 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 and then a breath of fire. And it burns, burns, burns when you burn me with your fire. And it hurts, hurts, hurts when you burn me with your fire. Burn me with your fire. Hadouken! Hadouken! Is that a Hadouken she just did? Hadouken! Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just attack with him, and I'll have I'll have Miss I'll have Miss Sassy Pants over there on the left heal him if he needs it after this bitch dies or not. I'll let, I'll go ahead and use a Thera Leaf right now, just to be on the safe side. We don't need anybody dying right now. Nobody needs to die. Nobody has to die. Fighting spirit, huh? That sounds like something to make you stronger than yesterday. And indeed it is. His physical power is now much stronger than it was yesterday. All right. In that case, we will cure my girl. What else are you going to do if you don't cure him? Also, this is a demon dog. Why haven't I tried and cure on him? I just explained how I was going to try it on dead enemies. Then again, I need to cure myself more than I need to hurt. I'm not wasting any turns at this point. So, If I didn't he need to heal myself this whole time, I probably would have tried it. It's cool. It's cool. Smack him down. Grenade him down. Down. Ah. Blow him up. Yeah, I could use some help here. Yeah. A little bit of help? A little bit of help there, huh? Blow him up. Fuck him up. Die, dog. Ow, ow, ow. Alice has gone berserk. Ah, oh, fuck. That's bad. Alright, well, I'm gonna use a thing that heals berserk if I have it, because fuck this shit. I'm not gonna use it with him, though. Smack him down. There it is. Get him. No, not dead yet. Okay. Do I have a thing that heals berserk? I should. No? I didn't buy any of the thing that heals berserk. So my idiotic ass is just gonna be stuck with Berserk. All right, cool. Well, shit. In that case, just fucking attack, cause we need to get it. We need to get this thing dead as quickly as possible. Fuck! I just missed the third one. Oh well. I think we just got him. Hell yeah! Face down, ass up. That's the way you like to die. Go Frenchy. It's your birthday. Level up, yo. Oh yeah. Give me that soul energy. Cause I'm a soul man. Give me that soul energy. Soul energy. Oh yeah. Now I get it. So this mutt's actually some wretched old geezer named Dei Ha! <laughs> Giving yourself away like that. Real smart, Dei Huai. He seems to know about Roger Bacon. Not only that, but he seems to know about me too. Hey, come on, you two. We've got to stay on our toes. I know a little something about that Dehuai character. I'll tell you about it later. In the meantime, I'll look for the plane, for a plane we can use. Be right back. Hey, I thought you were going to show me your landing strip. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, well. Heart time, huh? Jeez, Alice, you sure are popular with older guys. <laughs> you do have that whole innocence thing going on. Or maybe it's because you have some big secret. Oh, don't look at me that way. You love it. Why would you wear such a short skirt if you didn't love it? Um, did she find a plane? She must have found a plane. All right. Going on a plane. Hey, you guys. Look what I found. What do you think? Pretty nifty, huh? It was abandoned, I think. But it started when I gave it a swift kick. <laughs> okay. You think. Oh yeah, that's a hand-me-down, all right. 
You want us to ride in it? Bingo! Stop your chattering, kids, and hop on in. Okay, well, then here we go. Damn, is this thing made for midgets or what? What's with the squeaking? Squeaking? Will it really fly? Whoa! Oh, I'm so sorry, Yuri. N no problem. You're plenty light, Alice. Don't you two get all cuddly on me now. This is it. Hold on tight. Don't let the bed bugs by. So, um, I know she's French, but I don't have a good French accent either. I just wanted to mention that real quick since I didn't say that. That's why I'm not doing a French accent instead, because I'm terrible at accents. At least ones I'm not. Not those ones. French and Russian I'm terrible at. My French sounds like Spanish, and my Russian sounds like Spanish, so she'll just have a Spanish accent, basically, if I do it. Yo, Marguerite! Maybe this plane wasn't such a hot idea. It's really shaking. <laughs> There's no turning back now. Come on, Yuri. You're a boy, for God's sake. Show a little gumption. Here it goes. Full throttle. Pedal to the metal, baby. Get it in the air. Once you get it in the air, you're good. You're good. All right. Get the fudge up out of there. Now we're talking. It appears we are at moments too late, and the garrison has failed to stop them, I see. Just how far do they think they can get in that rust heap? Amusing little fools. Lieutenant Colonel, the pursuit planes are prepared to fire. With your permission, we can shoot them down. <laughs> no need to waste the ammunition. They'll crash before they get too far. One thing does surprise me, however. I never imagined they'd be involved with that Malkovich. I apologize about the state of our troops, Lieutenant Colonel I Don't worry about it. I'm heading up for Dahlia. Make the preparations. I suppose we shall have to set traps for them, then lay patiently and wait. Yes, ma'am. Understood. Useless. Bunch of useless bastards. Guess we're going to Dalian, just like she said we are. So Dalian, we go. Um, I guess we'll just go. Should I save it first? I'm gonna save it first, just in case I don't make it home tonight. I'm gonna make a new save just in case I die though. Wanna cherish each moment like the last, cause I don't wanna die hella fast, just in case. Alright, going to Dolly, and here we go. To the Dolly, 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 mm-hmm, Dolly, Dolly, uh-huh, da da Wait, Anne. Yuri, slow down, honey, you're going to fall. Hee <laughs> hee, don't worry, Mom, I'm fine. I'm just gonna go tell Dad it's supper time. He's been working so hard, he must be hungry. Okay, so we got flashbacks. He did say he hated his dad or whatever. It's like dad was haunting him and shit. And oh, there's that mask too. He's wearing it on the back of his head. Huh? You're out of breath, boy. Did you run all the way here? <laughs> Mom says super, super, so super's ready. Supper's ready. Oh well, I could use a break. There's still so many left. Can you really see it all? It all by summer? Sure, winter's much harsher here on the continent than Katsuragi, where you were born. First we worked to plant lots of seeds, then in, then in fall we split the harvest with everyone from town. If we all work hard and help each other out, we can make it through even the toughest winters. Understand? Yep. Okay. Say, Dad, will you have to go away again in fall to work? For how long? Will you be back soon? It's okay, Dad. I can wait for you, because I'm a man. But Mom's different. She's a girl, so she misses you. She tries to hide it, but I can tell how sad she is. I know. I feel terrible about doing this to you and your mother. Yuri, you look after Mom when I'm away, all right? I'll try to come back before winter. Okay, I promise. Come back soon, okay? Of course. I promise, too. Come on. Mom's waiting. Okay. Huh. Not sure why we got a flashback there, but I'm 
I mean, we're getting something out of this. Character development for the win. Shanghai? We're going to Shanghai. We're going to search for our destiny in Shanghai! Woo woo! Um. Uh, Yuri, wake up! Please wake up! Uh, uh huh? What? Something happened? Did something happen? I'll say it did. How could you possibly sleep at a time like this, sunny boy? Time like what? Huh? The engine's busted! Shit! Yuri, I heard what you said in your sleep. You were saying, Dad, Dad, they're coming to kill Mom, help! You seem to be in so much pain. Look here, Missy, this is no time for casual discourse on some... Somnilu... Somniloquy? Somniloquy? That's not so... It should be so... Uh, whatever. So, somniloquy, whatever. We're gonna crash! Crash, I tell you! Aye! Aye, aye, aye! Eek. Eek, a penis. Oh, at least we're cra crashing in the water. Well, okay, <laughs> just like stopped. Boom, in the water. But apparently we're good. Apparently we landed next to a town. Man, I thought we were done for. Me too. I can't believe we made it in one piece. I, I never dreamed we'd crash. Never in a million years. Who would have thunk it, huh? What a... What a gutless plane that was. I thought we'd at least get past Dalian. <laughs> God, this chick, man. She cray. She cray. Forget Dalian. You almost bought us a one-way ticket to hell. Spin us on the highway to hell, man. Don't glare at me, you two. That's not very nice. Come on. Look at the bright side. We're all still here. Right? I, uh... Yes, right, we're all alive. Whoop de friggin' whoop. Whoop de whoop. Jigga what? Oh yeah. Rolling in that lottery ticket, yo. Anything else hiding on these boats and shit? Nothing hiding on the boats and shit. What about up here? Can we go up the ladder? Can't go up the ladder? Can you go up the ladder? No? Okay, fine. I don't wanna go up your stinking ladder anyways, game. Alright, can we go right here? No. Can we go this way? No. Can we talk to this guy? Yo. Man with turtle. Hmm, gosh darn it, my turtle's run away somewhere in this bush. Is there anything I can do? I'll help if we trade something. Really? Please look for it. I'll definitely get something for you. Wait, what? Uh. Nope. Okay, apparently we're looking for a turtle. Uh, is this stupid turtle really in here? I don't know. I just started looking, dude search has just barely begun. Here, here he is. Nailed it. Oh, that's him. That's the turtle I was looking for. Three hands over the turtle. Thank you so much. It's thanks. Please take this. You received a talisman of luck. Wow, whoopty freaking do. Fucking, fucking Phoenix down. Thanks, I'm so worried. Oh yeah, if you come here again tomorrow, something good will happen. Okay, so we're coming back tomorrow. Got it. Coming back tomorrow. Coming back here tomorrow. Received another talisman of luck. Yay, yay. I'm hoping that what the good thing that'll happen tomorrow is turtle races. That's what I'm hoping for. That'd be pretty cool, actually. I'd be down for some turtle races for show. Fish show. Anyway, we're looking for things to interact with. Items hidden in the crevices. Drunken Ron. Lily, oh yeah, I get the chills just thinking about it. What? She was thinking about what? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Why did it have a question mark there for a second and then it went away? I'm confused. Did I fuck up? Damn it! I didn't want to leave. What was that looking around in there, man? Um. Okay. Apparently, I'm. I, he's just. Maybe he was just quizzical. Silver hourglass. All right. Treasure chest is empty. That was a treasure chest. Okay. Welcome. Say, we don't get many travels around here. Please relax and enjoy yourselves. Is this an inn? Because I need it. 
Wait, what? You have one guild. Uh, ch oh yeah, that's right. We can do discounts. That's right, discounts. Um, okay. A bunch of bracelets and shit here. I don't even want to buy any of this stuff, honestly. Really don't. I, I just don't. Hey, if you want to learn more about Lily, you should see go see go see Sea Mother. She knows way more than we do. I'm pretty sure I saw her walking toward the inn. She probably went to see Yen Yen, poor kid. The inn? It's right across from this restaurant. All right. Okay, cool. We'll have to check that shit out then. What? Blue dragon painted on a scroll. Okay. Sounds fancy. All right, we out. We out. We're looking for the inn. Gonna talk to this girl, yo. You. What are you? Not too long ago, there was a construction started. There was construction started to make this port into something big and modern. But since this is ghost trouble, it's come to a standstill. Of course, that's made a lot of people happy. They don't want to hear their precious port turn into some steel monstrosity. Ghost trouble, huh? Who you gonna call? That's what I thought. I don't think I've seen you folks around here before. You travelers? Take my advice. Get yourselves to an inn before the sun goes down, then stay in your rooms. Why, you say? Because the Port of Dalian's under a curse, and evil spirits been preying on us. <sighs> we gotta save every freaking town in the world from curses and demons and shit. Old man with a bad back. Did you hear about the ghost? That's right, the girl that comes out when the sun goes down. She comes with a mist and brings monsters. So many have died by her curse. Who's it going to be tonight? Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. My Lord, hallelujah. And amen. Can I get a what, what? To my jiggas who don't love all of them dogs. Who get no love, who get no dope. Can I get a what, what? Fish drying woman. What's the world coming to? I can't even dry my fish properly anymore. Well, fuck that, dude. Fuck this world. You. Sea mother said the creatures, uh, the monsters are coming because they care like they should. Oh, really? You don't say. That sounds absolutely enthralling. Please tell me more. Not too particularly worried about sa saving it at the moment. Wait, what? Are you going to the inn? Uh, yeah. Is that a problem? Fine, but don't bother Sea Mother. Bitch, please. She's the only person we can depend on now. I'll talk to Sea Mother if I want, and you will not stop me. You can suck it. I will talk to whoever I please. Especially if she's hot. I'll talk to Sea Mother all I want. Oh, that's probably the old lady right there. Another victim of the curse. It's so awful, I can't bear to watch. Me neither. I guess we have to, though. Yuri, do you think that w old woman is... Yep, looks like it. Probably the sea mother. Mother to the sea people. Mambo Mambo. Oh, almighty God, I beseech you. For how long this boy's life, I beg of thee, Mambo Mambo. Uh, it hurts, brother. Ask the sea mother to... Hang in there, Yen Yen. Don't give up. You're gonna be alright, man. Please, sea mother, you've gotta do something. He's the only family I have. Yeah. Yen Yen, I can't help you. You fought very hard, you're a brave, brave boy. You can't say that, Sea Mother. Oh God, Yen Yen. I'm sure it's very difficult, but it'll be over soon. Be over. I do not possess the power to eliminate Lily's curse. Forgive me, Yen Yen. <laughs> this is horrible, horrible. I say, cursed and killed by someone's hate. Gurgle, gurgle. Yen Yen, Yen Yen, no! And he's gone. Spirits and damage, spirits and damage. Our proud fisherman will be coming under your care. Please be good to him. Thank you, Sea Mother. At least I won't have to worry about Yen Yen losing his way. Damn you, Li Li. How could you be so unthinkably cruel to our village? Ugh, freaking Lily, man. Freaking Lily. Huh. Why are you staring at the girl? You like young girls or something, old lady? Huh? One burial after another. Huh. Are you guess? I'm sorry, but please leave me be. Fuck you too, innkeeper. Maybe I want to fucking stay here. Maybe I need to heal, huh? 
these are tumultuous times. Why don't you take a look at the weapons and armor downstairs? Maybe I will. Sorry, but please let me be. Oh, yeah. There are tumultuous times. Okay, why don't I go do that then? Since you won't let me go look around in here yet. I'll go ahead and check out the armor and weapons downstairs, so he says. Customers! Yes, I am here to buy things, sir. Knuckle blade. Shooting star tome. Hexagonal staff. Type 94 pistol. Leather vest. And a leather skirt. Well then. We gonna buy them new webs. We gonna buy them new webs. Discount. Discount. Try to get a 10% discount. Nailed it. 10% discount. Yay. Hey, hey. Alright, we'll go ahead and buy one of these. Discount. Nailed it. Alright. And I think that's all I'm going to buy for now because I don't have anybody who uses a hexagonal staff. But it's capable of great destruction. Keep that in mind. Alright. Uh, we'll hold on to the rest of this shit for now. Let's see. I guess that's the armor and weapons downstairs. It's like, you found brass knuckles. Oh, that pissed me off. I fucking just bought them and then you find them on the ground. You can't go in there. Why not? I just want to steal that treasure chest. I bet you that treasure chest is available like nighttime or some shit. Um, let me equip my new shit. Equip my new shit. Equip my new shit. Oh damn, we need to give this girl some stuff. I didn't even realize I didn't give her any stuff yet. And I actually got a whole buttload of stuff. She has some better defense for sure. And are we done here? Wait, would you like to rest? Yes, I would like to rest. Thank you. I really need to heal, so I'm down to rest. Down to rest it up. Oh, yeah. Alright, see you again. When can I see you again? I got a tent, baby. Right, anything else? Nope. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here, then. Let's go find that sea mother. Where'd you go, sea mother? I need you. Oh, it's nighttime now. Well, then we should probably save it. Because now... Is when the freaks come out at night. 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 The freaks come out. The freaks come out at night. Wait, speaking of the fact that it's nighttime, hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put some pimp in in it. Is the shop closed at night so I can get this treasure chest or no? It is. Nope, it's not. <laughs> Wishful thinking. It is not, is what I should have said. No. No. Go outside! No! Stop it! Alright, what's going on out here? Can we go to the left here? Nope, this town is just super fucking small. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey you! The sun's gone down. Shouldn't you be inside? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Everyone's so scared of me. They won't open their door. Are you Lily? You must be Lily. Th that voice! Y you must be Lily! That's right. Tee, what a pretty voice. My voice used to be like that too. Even prettier, maybe. It's you. Oh, it's you, isn't it? The evil spirit that comes out when the sun goes down. Of course it is. Huh. I thought I smelled a monster. Right. Let's see what you got. What's the point? I only have business with her. So, let's sacrifice more tonight. Y-O-U. Y-O-U. Oh, fuck. What? Not cool. How dare... Oh, not cool. At sunset tomorrow, the girl will die. All you can do is sit by and watch. How glorious. She'll be in agony until the very moment of her death. The same agony. I tasted. <laughs> Man, this girl's fucking ridiculous. Stop! Wait, you little... You son of a bitch. Alice? Oh, no! God damn it all the hell. God damn it, son of a... Alice, uh, wake up! Alice! Ah, oh, shit. You fucked up, bro. You fucked up. See, Mother, help us, please. Uh, oh, Jesus. It can't be, but it is that sound. You saw Lily, didn't you? The girl is in grave danger. Bring her inside. Hurry. Hurry. 
Red Basta, Pokey, Red Basta. Just sling her over your shoulder and run, fool, run. It's a shame as yet you added all the others. Lily's curses pierced deeply into her tiny body. Her supple tiny body. But what can we do, see mama? There's gotta be something. Please, please, I beg of you. Calm yourself. I'm called upon a warlock more powerful than I. He should arrive soon. Does he use a staff by any chance? I'm gonna go with he probably uses a staff, huh? And yet, fate is cruel. This young girl seems to bear destiny similar to Lily's. You lost your beloved father, did you, in a foreign land far, far away? Poor girl. Did Lily lose her father too? Oh god, why did I do British? That was not the right fucking. I'm done. <laughs> Ash, but under different circumstances, fate has dealt them for the terrible hand indeed. So, who's this Lily, anyways? Why did she turn into a ghost, and why is she menacing this town? Curious, are you, about her tragic tale? Yes, I suppose you should hear this. Indeed, it seems to me that Lily may have drawn you here. There's <laughs> no time for laughter, old lady. It will be a long story, though. Fine, go on. Okay. You asked for it. Lily, her fate was cursed. Fifteen years ago, there was a sudden tornado that shake many ships. Lily's father was on one of them. He was her only blood relative. She stood on the docks, praying firmly for his homecoming. Okay. She waited and waited until, until her father would not return, so she called out from the stormy sea. Blue dragon, god of fishermen, anyone, please save my father's life. I will do anything. And that woman of bass and bold lightning struck the water, and the ocean suddenly fell and became calm. Her father's ship returned safely, but the gods were cruel. They had taken away her voice. But that was not all. Her voice became switched with her father's. His rough... What the fuck? That's hella weird. What the hell? Some Little Mermaid shit, man. The father now spoke in Lily's sweet, dulcet tones. From that day on, he refused to ever speak again. Oh my god, really? Uh, that year, a traveling theatrical troupe visited the village. Such bad timing it was. Lily fell in love with one of the actors. I tried everything to get her voice back to no avail. The only way was to kill her father. What? One fateful night, Lily came to me, speaking in her father's voice. See, Mother, give me that tap and the blade you used in your rituals. I've made a decision. It, is, it was shameful, but one look into her eyes and I froze completely. Huh. So she killed her own dad to get her voice back. That's fucked up. Ah, uh, yes. I understand. Why do we get voice acting all of a sudden? I'll short. Okay, okay. By the mercy of the blue dragon. No, no, it may have been a curse. Lily's pretty voice was switched with her father's gruff voice. And the only way to get her own beautiful voice back was for her to kill her father. Having fallen in love with an actor in a traveling troupe, Lily took my ceremonial dagger to kill her father. That's where we left off, correct? Yeah. That's right. Give me the sharpest knife so that my father won't suffer for too long. Horrible, isn't it? <sighs> Just thinking about it gives me the shiver. I still remember the horror. Lily's pretty lips spoke those horrible words in the gruff voice of an old fisherman. She didn't kill her father right away, though. She couldn't. Every night, she would go to her father's bedroom and stand beside his bed. She would lay the dagger on her father's bearded throat. But still, she couldn't commit the final act. She would just stand there in silence for a while. Then she would leave the room with tears in her eyes. Every night, the same routine. was not asleep. 
He was ready to die if it meant that his daughter would have her beautiful voice back. The daughter standing at her father's bedside. The father pretending to be asleep while his daughter places a dagger to his throat. My heart aches every time I picture the scene. And finally, the troop was ready to move out of the fishing village the next day. Lily made up her mind and entered her father's bedroom again. But the bedroom was empty. Her father knew she'd leave the village with the theater troupe, so he thought, I'll send her off with a little something. And he had gone out to sea in search of some fish you could catch only on the night of new moon. But irony of ironies, that very night, a storm rolled in and the seas raged wildly. The next day, the sun reappeared and rose high overhead, but there was still no sign of Lily's father. It was just like that night some while ago. Then, as the sun was going down again, the debris of a fishing boat washed ashore from the crimson red ocean. Everyone knew her father was dead. Lily cried and cried in despair. Now neither her voice nor her father would ever return. Her cries echoed all over the village. Cries like a wounded beast. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> All right, I get it. Good Lord, man. The young man from the theater troupe went to Lily's house to console her. But she would not let him in. Of course, he never knew that the hideous cries coming from the other side of the wall were Lily's own. Late that evening after the sun went down, the cries came again. <laughs> it's like fucking... It's like an old per like a person sitting around a campfire telling you a scary story. It's actually kind of funny. Lily's voice had grown hoarse from her endless wailing, making it sound even more fearsome. But then, but then. another very strange sound joined in. Shloop. What the fuck? That. Shloop. Is that Golem that showed up? Fucking Golem showed up. Like <coughs> a wet, sloppy piece of meat slithering across the ground. Sounds like Golem. The sound was coming from the harbor, and it was getting closer and closer. God damn it, lady. <laughs> Whoever did the voice acting in this and part is hilarious. The gulls started to screech too. Perhaps because they wanted that meat. Meat! More meat! Oh, what the fuck? Those the birds? Must be the birds. God, dude. If I have to see these words on the screen more times, I'm gonna it's gonna drive me insane. The sound stopped right in front of Lily's house. Not in front of her house. Oh no. Soon the door began to open. Ah, <laughs> oh, 
gotta have the door creak sound. Wait, what? See mother. Wait, what? What's happening? Oh, somebody's yelling for the sea mother. Sea mother, it's the adept. Adept is here. The adept is here. What? You people are. Well, I'd never. Aren't you rude then? You can't just come barging and yelling and flailing about. Now you look at me as if you've seen a ghost. Have we met before? Uh, no, not at all. I, I just uh, didn't expect to see such a beauty in a place like this. M my apologies. <laughs> of course, it's this guy. I had a feeling it was this guy. When she said a warlock, I didn't want to say anything. It just happens to be Susan. Looks like I'm finally needed again. Susan, what up, dog? Y you it's the quack oracle you can drop the quack pot kid long time no see hmm and who's this someone from the railroad company I'm Marguerite I'm a high-ranking government official from a certain large country <sighs> another shady looking old fellow so who are you master Trushan, thank you for coming we've been expecting you Sorry to keep you waiting. Some idiot blew up the railway depot and the trains aren't running. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Swear. Wasn't me. Isn't this Alice? Who the fuck is Alice? Eef, that's a mighty powerful curse she's under. But you needn't worry anymore. My archer is good as useless against it. More than ten have died so far. It's not about your lack of power, mother. It's the man pulling the strings. It's him. What do you mean? You you know why Lily came back? Oh, I have a pretty good idea. I'm starting to see who might be behind all of this. Oh, oh, it's Susan. Don't worry. I know it's hard. This will be over soon. I promise. Just stick it out a little longer. Lily isn't paint. Somebody forced her to come back. Yes, yes, I know. I know exactly who it is and what he's up to. It's Mavis Bacon. You just take it easy and get some rest. I assure you that it'll, it'll all be over by tomorrow morning, okay? Yes, thank you. By tomorrow morning, you say? Now then, I'm going to need you two to help. Of course you are. Our first task is to rid this town of its ghosts. What do you say? Are you with me? What do you say? You want to tag along? I don't think I have an option. If that'll save Alice, you'd better fucking believe it, brother. Same here. Okay. Okay, let's strike while the iron's hot. Good. Let's get cracking, then. First, we've got to find the place they're all getting in from. Getting in from. My guess would be somewhere down in the water. Down by the water. There's sure to be a mark at the spot where they enter. We need to destroy it. Watch this everywhere outside. Be careful. I shall look after the girl. Right. We'll leave her to you. Don't worry. It won't take long. All right. Let's get going. All right. I guess we're going to go kick ass and take some names, eh? I'm down. Whoa. Oh, God damn it. Really? You're going to side story me right now? So these three are in the port of Dalian, and the Caucasian girl has been stricken with a curse. Yes. The man and the woman have set out to destroy the monsters that have been appearing in town. That's how they're going to break the spell on the girl. At least that's what they said. But who's fuck spying on me so much? <laughs> There's no question it's Alice Elliot, all right. So the other two must be the thin young man and Malkovich. Very well. The beast is caught in its trap. Yes, we must proceed with caution. Excuse me? Sending in brute strength may not be the best way. In which case, perhaps I'd better do this myself. Uh, excuse me, Lieutenant Crow, I was wondering, <laughs> that is, if you don't need me anymore. Yes, yes, you may go. Get your money before you leave. And one more thing, you must not breathe a word of this to anyone. Have you got that? Huh? Uh, of course. Honestly, I've got a terrible memory. I've already forgotten the whole thing. Oh, so funny. So funny. Just keep on laughing, girl. Just keep on laughing. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. Oh, I'm not laughing, bitch. Not by a lot. What are you pacing for? Quit pacing. What the hell are you doing? 
Somebody at once! What? Yes, Lieutenant Colonel. What? Huh. I've never seen you before. Are you new? Sergeant Kato, huh? I'm, I'm Sergeant Kato, ma'am. Reporting from Tokyo for my new post. My expertise is... I'm sorry, but could you leave these self-introductions for later? We don't have time for this now. I want you two to dispose of the man that just left this room. Make it look like a traffic accident. Yes, Lieutenant Colonel. Okay. W what? Sergeant Kato, you're coming to Dalian with me. Get a boat ready. A, 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 a boat, ma'am? I don't care what kind. Any old thing will, will do. Do you understand? If so, we leave now. Follow me! Uh, uh, Lieutenant Colonel, please wait! <laughs> whatever, dude. Oh, we're gonna have to deal with that bitch, huh? Alright, whatever. Whatever. Alice. I shall look after the girl be careful. Do we already look in this room? This is the... Yeah, okay, we've been in here. This is not a new area. Alright, I think that's going to do it for this episode. A little bit longer than I would like to go, but sometimes you get stuck in a fucking goddamn fire... fucking... fucking fire camp story. Campfire, that's the word. Fire camp? Campfire story that you can't get out of. Anyway, in the next episode of Let's Play Shadow Hearts, we're going to break the curse on Alice. Because we don't want her to die, man. We don't want her to die. See you guys next time. Peace!